What do a square-wheeled bicycle, a bulletproof vest, a Y-brush, and a sweat generator have in common? They're all examples of crazy ideas that worked. First on this list is the square-wheeled bicycle. Have you ever wondered what riding a bicycle with square wheels would be like? It sounds impossible, right? Well, not quite. Some ingenious inventors have created and demonstrated square-wheeled bicycles that work surprisingly well. But how do they do it? And what makes them unique and innovative? A square-wheeled bicycle is a modified bike that has square-shaped wheels instead of the usual round ones. The first square-wheeled bicycle was built in 1997 by mathematics professor Stan Wagon and bicycle mechanic Lauren Kellen, who rode it on a catenary road at McAlaster College in Minnesota. To make it work, the inventors had to overcome two main challenges, friction and balance. To reduce the friction, the inventors came up with different solutions. One solution was to use rubber tires, cut and linked with bike chains, creating a continuous tread that rolled around the square wheel. This way, the wheel does not spin, but glides over the ground like a tank. Another solution was to use a unique road-inverted catenary curves, matching the shape of the square wheels. This way, the wheel does not bounce, but rolls smoothly over the bumps. To improve the balance, the inventors also came up with different solutions. One solution was to use a custom bike frame with a suspension system that could absorb the shocks and vibrations of the square wheel. This way, the rider does not feel the jolts, but stays comfortable and steady. Another solution was to use a tricycle instead of a bicycle, which had two square wheels at the back and one wheel at the front. This way, the rider does not need to steer, but relies on the stability and traction of the rear wheels. Next on this list is the bulletproof jacket. Who would have thought that there would be a time when we would create jackets that could protect the body from bullets and even shrapnel? A bulletproof jacket is a product that has developed and improved over the years with the help of research and technology. It has also been marketed and sold to various customers, such as civilians, law enforcement, military, and VIPs. The first bulletproof jacket was invented in 1893 by a Polish priest named Casimir Zegler, who used silk fabric to create a vest that could stop a revolver bullet. Bulletproof jackets are worn over regular clothing and look like a regular jacket. However, it has a hidden layer of ballistic material that can stop or slow down bullets. The ballistic material is usually made of synthetic fibers, such as Kevlar, Spectra, or Dyneema, woven or laminated together. These fibers are very strong and flexible, and they can absorb and disperse the impact of a bullet. The fibers also have a high melting point, and can resist high temperatures and fire. The bulletproof jacket also has a layer of trauma pad, which is a soft and thick material that cushions the blunt force trauma caused by the bullet. The trauma pad reduces the risk of internal injuries, such as broken ribs, punctured lungs, or damaged organs. To use a bulletproof jacket, the wearer has to put it on and zip it up like a normal jacket. The jacket has to fit snugly and cover the vital areas of the body such as the chest, the abdomen, and the back. Next on this list is the Y-Brush. Brushing your teeth is an essential part of oral hygiene. However, it can also be a tedious and time-consuming task. Most dentists recommend brushing your teeth for at least two minutes twice daily, using a proper technique and a good toothbrush. But what if you could brush your teeth in 10 seconds using a device that does all of the work for you? That's the idea behind Y-Brush, a sonic toothbrush that claims to clean your teeth effectively in only 10 seconds. Developed by a French company, Y-Brush serves as a digital sculpting instrument, melding 3D model creation, texture application, and painting. Employing an exclusive image element technology, it retains data on illumination, hue, substance, positioning, and depth for the vertices constituting every element visible on the display. Y-Brush is a device that consists of two parts, a handle and a mouthpiece. The handle is the part that contains the battery, the motor, and the electronics. The mouthpiece is the part that holds the bristles, the sensors, and the magnets. The mouthpiece is shaped like a U, and it covers the upper and lower teeth simultaneously. The mouthpiece is made of flexible and biocompatible material and is customized to fit the shape and size of each user's teeth. The mouthpiece has four zones corresponding to the four quadrants of the mouth, upper right, upper left, lower right, and lower left. 
The mouthpiece also has thousands of nylon bristles, arranged in a specific pattern and angle to clean the teeth and gums at the same time. The bristles vibrate at 15,000 movements per minute frequency, creating a sonic effect that dislodges plaque and bacteria. The bristles are also infused with silver ions, which have antibacterial properties and prevent the growth of germs. The mouthpiece also has sensors and magnets, which communicate with the handle and control the vibration and the brushing duration. The sensors detect the position and the pressure of the mouthpiece, and the magnets activate and deactivate the motor. The handle has a button that allows the user to choose between four brushing modes, soft, standard, intense, and gum massage. To use Y-Brush, the user has to apply toothpaste on both sides of the mouthpiece, insert it into the mouth, bite lightly, and press the button. The device will then vibrate for five seconds, cleaning one zone of the mouth. The user then rotates the device 90 degrees and repeats the process for the other three zones. The device will stop automatically after 10 seconds, indicating the brushing is complete. Next on my list is the Sweat Generator. Sweat is a waste product from the body, and most times you wipe off your body or wait for it to dry off. What if you can generate electricity with your sweat? Well, now you can. Some clever researchers have created and tested a device that can turn sweat into electricity. It has been developed and tested for several years with the help of science and technology. The first sweat generator was invented in 2013 by a team of researchers from the University of California, San Diego, who used a biofuel cell to convert sweat into electricity. A sweat generator is a device that consists of a flexible patch and a small battery. The patch is attached to the skin, collecting and analyzing the sweat. The battery is connected to the patch, storing and converting the sweat into electricity. The patch is made of a material that contains enzymes, which are biological catalysts that speed up chemical reactions. The enzymes react with a lactate, which is a compound that is produced by the muscles during exercise and is present in the sweat. The reaction produces electrons, which are the basic units of electricity. The battery is made of a material that contains electrodes, which are conductors that transfer electricity. The electrodes collect and transport the electrons from the patch of the battery. The battery then converts the electrons into a direct current which is a type of electricity that flows in one direction. The electricity from this sweat generator can power wearable and portable devices, such as smartwatches, fitness trackers, sensors, and medical implants. It also enhances the performance and functionality of these devices, as it provides a stable and continuous supply of electricity. The most versatile sweat generator was developed in 2020 by researchers from the Career Advanced Institute of Science and Technology who used a flexible and stretchable material to adapt to different body parts and movements. Another team of researchers from the National University of Singapore designed another sweat generator that used a self-healing material to repair the device in case of damage. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to see the world with an extra layer of information? It sounds like something out of a sci-fi movie, right? Well, it's not because it has been created and proven to exist. The first augmented reality glasses were invented in 1968 by a computer scientist named Ivan Sutherland, who used a head-mounted display and a tracking system to create a virtual wireframe model of a room. The most advanced and futuristic augmented reality glasses are the Meta or Ray-Ban stories made by the giant tech Meta and the Apple Vision Pro. Augmented reality glasses are a type of wearable device that can project digital images onto the real world. They're usually worn like regular glasses, and they look like normal glasses. However, they have a hidden layer of optical components that can display and manipulate the images. The optical components are usually made of micro displays, lenses, mirrors, and sensors. The micro displays are tiny screens that can generate high resolution and full color images. The lenses are transparent pieces of glass or plastic that can focus and magnify the images. The mirrors are reflective surfaces that can direct and align the images. The sensors are devices that can detect the position and movement of the glasses and the user. The augmented reality glasses also have a layer of electronic components that can process and transmit the images. The electronic components are usually made of processors, 
memory, batteries, and wireless modules. The processors are chips that can run the software and algorithms that control the images. The memory is the storage space that can hold the data and instructions for the images. The batteries are the power sources that can supply the energy for the glasses. Wireless modules are connectors that can communicate with other devices such as smartphones, computers or the internet. To use augmented reality glasses, you have to put them on and turn them on like normal glasses. The glasses will then scan the environment and then your eyes and adjust the images accordingly. The glasses will also receive the input and output from other devices and display the relevant images on the lenses. You will then see the images as if they were part of the real world and interact with them using gestures, voice or touch. Augmented reality glasses are currently available in different models and features and they cost between $300 up to $3,000. The glasses have to be compatible and synchronized with other devices and platforms such as smartphones, computers or the cloud. The glasses also have to be updated and maintained regularly as they can evolve and improve over time. And that's it for this video. If you want to see more videos like this, click the cards on your screen.